So to begin with, I'm going to make a box as a human scale, and we're going to make a plane and put some subdivisions through that. Also, I'm going to apply an HDR to get some lighting in the scene, and then apply the noise modifier to the plane. And using some soft selection as well, we're going to sculpt a bit of interest into the plane. I've got two textures, PBR textures, and one of them is a cliff and the other is a muddy surface. So we're going to load up the cliff and change the tiling so it looks a little bit more realistic. You'll see the material here. I'm adding in the height the height map or the displacement map for that cliff and using the Arnold properties modifier I'm going to add in the displacement map and subdivide the surface six times in this case so I can see the effect of that and change some of the tiling a little bit more all right so we've got one material I'm going to duplicate the plane and load another material for that It's the muddy surface material. And this is using the cliff displacement, so we'll bring in the mud displacement and apply that. And now I will turn up the tiling and turn down the displacement height, so this is looking a little bit more realistic. And once you've got these two materials, you can just pull one up or down to show more of the material coming through. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a simple trick. So when you've got something that you like, I'm going to increase the iterations a little bit more and we're going to go into the production shading mode. So I can see how long this render is taking. And I'm going to write down these times so we can compare it to the GPU renderer. So I've got the 640 and that's taking 37 seconds. I theoretized that uh, 1280 pixels is going to take two minutes and that's rendering at the moment and let's get ready for the GPU renders after that. Alright, so that's 1 minute and 59 seconds, which is a good guess, and that means that the 2K render is going to be about 8 minutes. Now, uh, I'm switching into the GPU mode, and I'm going to increase the iterations. These are quite a lot of iterations, but what I want to show is a memory error. And this is it here. This is what happens when you put too many subdivisional iterations onto the Arnold Properties modifier, and you need to restart Max if you want to run GPU renders again. So we're back in Max and I'm showing you how to fix this error simply by adding a property to the error amount and changing the adaptive subdivisional settings for each of the Arnold modifiers to object mode. Now when we render you'll see there's no problem. We've got about 37 seconds for that render which is four times faster. I'm adding in the optics denoiser and turning it up to the 2.5k render and that's running right now. Uh, this would have taken maybe 8 minutes but via the CPU and now on the GPU we've got a time of 1 minute and 6 seconds so in this case that's, that's 8 times faster. So there it is a quick fix for memory problems with the GPU and here we are low quality render settings but still getting an acceptable output.